Thanks again for tuning in to my regular Finasteride updates. This time I'm getting back on Finasteride after taking oral Finasteride for almost two and a half years. Now I'm stopping that and getting on topical Finasteride. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my number one reason why I'm doing that. Also, what is my topical Finasteride uh, concentration, how frequently I'm gonna be applying it, how much of it I'm gonna be applying it and stuff like that. If you are interested in that, I'm sure you will love this video. So make sure you stay tuned. And as always, before we start, shout out to our sponsor, CoFiber. These are hair building fibers you can use to mask any thinning or patchy areas on your scalp to make your hair look thicker and better. So make sure you check out the link in the video description below where you can visit GoFiber get a free sample of your choice and try them out. See if you like them. All right, guys, before I start talking about the topical finasteride solution I'm currently using, uh, let me just, uh, you know, maybe open up a question like why would anybody even want to switch from oral finasteride or Propecia or Proscar quartering the pills on like 1.25 milligram to like topical finasteride that you need to apply every day and it's definitely more time consuming and it's not so practical compared to taking a pill. Well, there's one simple reason for that and that will be minimizing the side effects and making sure that you can stick to that finasteride therapy long-term without having any issues. And we know these issues. It can be sexual issues, it can be mental issues. And as much as many guys try to fight for, you know, there are no side effects or other guys are fighting for like, there are side effects, the truth is in the middle. And no matter what anybody says, if you have used finasteride for quite a bit of time, you probably know what I'm talking about. So we try to minimize the side effects with a topical finasteride. If we look at studies so far, a low dose topical finasteride solution like I'm using here is not only going to be able to get you literally the same scalp DHT suppression achievable with one milligram oral finasteride tablet that would be roughly 51% and with this solution it's about 52% it's a 0.025% topical finasteride but on top of that there is one edge that low dose topical finasteride solution has over oral finasteride and that will be having three times less systemic DHT inhibition that you get with this one. It's about 24% based on the study uh, on topical finasteride you can see here versus a 76% DHT inhibition that can be achieved with oral finasteride either if you cut the Proscar onto 1.25 milligram or you take one milligram of Propecia tablet per day. By the way, all the values as far as suppressing DHT systemically versus topically with a topical or oral finasteride came as a result of dosing finasteride daily for at least one week and thus reaching a degree of accumulation of finasteride either in the scalp tissue or in the blood plasma. And although using such topical finasteride solution will not completely free you from side effects, it will definitely lower the probability of you experiencing any uh, types of these adverse events, you know, of psychological or sexual nature. On top of that, there is also more than 100-fold lower maximum mean plasma finasteride concentration with this topical finasteride solution that is like 0.025 or even 0.05 percent compared to using oral finasteride one milligram and these are all the reasons that convinced me uh, to switch completely to topical finasteride uh, for the you know near short and midterm until we have a better treatment. The topical solution I'm using uh, is coming from a pharmacy in Brussels and they require you to have a prescription before they can ship it to you. If you want to use a non-prescription topical finasteride, you can also go ahead and watch this video of mine that I have done like a year or two years ago on how to mix your own topical finasteride at home after purchasing only a topical finasteride from a online service like website that is offering anti-hair loss products. And then you can just add a solvent to make it a little bit softer in concentration because usually these widely available topical finasteride solutions uh, are kind of high like if you go to hims or keeps uh, you might have already noticed that these may be 0.1 percent and higher and these are definitely not going to be side effect free in fact they can be very similar in terms of you know suppressing the dht systemically 
as much as your Proscar or Oral Finasteride 1 milligram would and that is why you definitely need to soften the concentration if you want to go that route but for, uh, make sure you watch this video for more information how you can do it now if you can get a prescription and you get a, such a topical Finasteride from a pharmacy that is like 0.025% already it's already kind of microdosed and standardized for this low concentration and this is a 60 milliliter bottle so it can last me about two months and I ordered six of them so I have a one year supply. Now I like this solution a lot because it's liquidy, it's not like that liposomal gel that some guys like but guys who need to spread it across large diffusely thinning areas may not like it so much because then you need a lot of that solution and uh, you can overuse it easily if it's like that gel uh, substance but if it's like very liquidy you can easily spread it across the scalp and that is why I like it. Uh, one thing that I don't like it is that it doesn't come with a dropper, okay? It's a spray. That means it's very hard to uh, dose it and use just one milliliter of it, uh, which you should do. And in such case, I need to use like my additional dropper that I have from other products like Minoxidil. And then I just get one milliliter from this solution that way and use it on my scalp. So that's how I kind of check that I didn't use too much or too little of it. Okay, now there you can also use this pump here, but again, I didn't find it very practical in terms of measuring an exact amount of uh, one milliliter. I mean, it's pretty practical to use it, but unfortunately, it's not measuring one milliliter. Now, the stability of this solution is one year, at least that's what the pharmacy told me. And the name of the pharmacy is Pharmacy Darwin, uh, right? Uh, they're based in Brussels. For all of you guys that are from Europe, uh, they're only shipping to Europe as far as I know so if you are from Europe you can get a prescription for it uh, and uh, have it shipped to you. Now interesting thing about this solution also although it's liquidy it doesn't contain any alcohol any propylene glycol so their main goal was I guess to make a solution that would be non-irritating and wouldn't make uh, many guys start experiencing dry skin dry scalp and itchiness and maybe even redness and some irritation trihosol base doesn't contain it trihosol is a highly spreadable a hydrophilic solution containing mineral salts of vegetable origin free from alcohol and propylene glycol as I have already said I have seen guys ordering this uh, from other pharmacies uh, and having minoxidil compounded with the trihosol working very well and they're able to uh, use up to 7% of minoxidil with that trichosol and make it stable and effective. So uh, I'm trying it out. I have never tried any uh, type of solvent uh, unlike trichosol. I use the hydroalcoholic versions, but the liposomal versions, but never trichosol uh, versions of topical finasteride, um, you know. So let me see how it goes. I will keep you posted here and update you how I'm doing on it. So far, so good. I've used it, I guess, two times after having a break from Finasteride for 99 days and for all of you guys who want to know what happened uh, throughout these 99 days of me not using any Finasteride whatsoever make sure you check out this video. This video or this experience also made me realize how I want to proceed with my anti hair loss regimen and that was also the reason why I switched to topical Finasteride so that will give you also more insights why I'm actually making this video and uh, sharing you that topical Finasteride. Alright guys that was it for this update. Uh, comment below if if you want me to do monthly or quarterly updates on this treatment I will keep you posted for sure as much as you want. For all of you guys who are interested in my one-on-one -on -one services check out the link in the video description below where you can find out more information about how I can help you reverse hair loss quickly and also my one-on-one -on -one guidance on hair transplants and if you want to do it what are the do's and don'ts you need to know right now to maximize your hair transplant success rate all the things are there in the link below where you can read more about how I can help you out one-on-one -on -one. make sure you check them out I'll be happy to help you out in person and see you soon in another video guys take care